Okay, so, <laughs> wow, look, it's a different view. How exciting. Um, if you're thinking, oh, Cliff looks really ill, maybe it's just because it's like full screen. No, um, I am actually ill. Uh, and I'll e explain um, why well, it's been so many weeks until we've done this and um, then talk about new stuff in the game. This is a developer blog for Production Line, which is a strategy game for the PC. I am Klifsky. I am the um, coder, designer, uh, you know, I'm making the game, apart from the art and sound. Um, okay, so yeah, I've been ill. I went to the, uh, the Game Developers Conference, which I go to every year. So um, I kind of know what to expect. And um, there's just thousands of like sweaty geeks come together and shake hands. Uh, and this year I caught something out there and uh, oh, it was bad. Um, so I felt really ill for uh, a, a whole week. So I haven't actually written hardly any code for a whole week um, despite being at home, which I think is the first time that's happened um, in 19 years, which is how long uh, um, I've been making games uh, for, for uh, Positec. So um, yeah, I've been really... <laughs> <coughs> and I apologize for like, you know, the illness thing um, But I'm back and you know um, Hopefully that's good. I'm gonna try transition. How exciting Whoa, I bet you that didn't work. I bet you that recorded wrong or something. I'm new to YouTube and this video malarkey anyway Let us um, Care about the game. So I'm gonna Go through hang on a second let me this is going to be even more of a shambles than normal. I warn you, people of the internet. <clears throat> so, I'm going to load up one of my factories that's like massive and, and uh, been around forever. And I'm going to go through stuff that's changed. Um, I'm going to kind of talk through it in the... Um, I have like a change list. So um, entering, entering and leaving slot blueprint mode now pauses and resumes the game. Oh right, yeah, because we put this blueprint stuff in. Well, you can do this. You can place down stuff in blueprint mode. Um, I've still got loads of improvements to do um, with that. But you can see here that pauses the game and it resumes the game. Um, so yeah, the marketing dialogue we improved a bit. So um, this now shows you the current brand awareness. It used to be rubbish. You just have to go in here, in here, and look there. This is a marketing screen. That's literally all it does is this. Anyway, so we've done that. Um, yeah, I fixed a bug to do with supply stockpile routing. Um, now, if you've been playing the game a long time, you'll think, yeah, heard that before, Cliff. Ha, ha, ha. Um, but I really think I have this time. Um, Basically, a huge part of the technical side, apart from graphics, of the game is getting all of these little resources that come along here on these conveyor belts um, to take the right route to where they are going and to be ordered in the right order from the right location. It is a huge big deal um, and hopefully it's better than it, than, than it was before. <clears throat> so yeah, you can now place... Um, uh, blueprints for stuff you can't have yet. Um, this is a really late game thing. Oh, there we go. I can place that down. It's purple. So if I go to buy blueprints, it will go no, there aren't any, because that's that's not unlocked yet. Um, so that's that's a new thing. Um, <clears throat> uh, fixed bugs relating to resource stockpiles, wrong items being ordered. Um, yeah, the, the, it's all very technical, but basically. A lot of like the wrong items showing up stuff should be fixed. Um, office zones now show up in placing blueprint mode so you can tell where they are. <laughs> yeah. And that was stupid not doing that, wasn't it? Um, toggling on and off upgrades at slots that could cause the toggle to be ignored or not checked. Yeah, that, that's, um, that's this kind of stuff. If I go to... Um, <clears throat> What would be a good what would be a good example? Not my corn. My god, the factory is too huge. Cannot keep an eye on things. Oh, here we go. Actually, we have upgrades here. And this green button um, 
Some people don't notice actually, I need a tool tip there. Um, this is a button, right? So I can actually turn stuff off. You can turn, turn stuff off, it now turns red if you do. Um, and look, immediately a car wanting climate control, and you're like, we're not fitting climate control, what's wrong? Just turn it back on. Um, anyway, there were bugs relating to that in FX. Um, yeah, the wages for marketing staff were not being allocated or paid correctly. Um, that's fixed. <clears throat> right, and, and and this is all I've really got to talk about this week um, because I've been so ill and pathetic um, and and slack. <laughs> is um, we put in some new graphics. Now, normally no work would have been done because I've been ill. But I really wanted to put this in because um, the artist delivers some, some, some new work. Um, and then this bit, bit of a touchy issue, actually. Um, well, not a touchy issue, I don't know. Um, if you are, the, are really paying attention, you'll notice everyone in the game is white and almost everyone in the game is male. Um, okay. I don't know the statistics on, like, actual factory floors for cars. Um, I assume it's not 50-50. I don't know. I don't know, um, but anyway, I mean, this was basically just to do with um, we didn't have the animations, and uh, the animations used up a load of text memory. We had to do a load of, of, of messing around. Anyway, we ordered a bunch of new animations, so um, we've got quite a few actually. So if we if I zoom in here, um, you can see that like there's a guy there actually pushing buttons on that widget, um, and there's this is a woman here actually. With long red hair, um, I, I'm a, a, like I'm rubbish at this. I'm assured that like an animator or artist will go, well, yeah, obviously it's a woman um, by like you know the shape of their hips or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. It is a woman, um, and they've got like a clipboard. So this is like a new animation. They're doing the emissions check here actually, so it's it's especially cool that they've got clipboard. So we've got new like button pressing dude. I think button pressing dude is non-white actually, yeah, um, and um, we've got that woman, uh, there is also, th there's a few others all around the place, um, and, and, and those people are distributed, so also if you look at science, if you zoom into science, it used to be all the science people were, were men, um, if you zoom in now you can, can see like uh, some blonde haired uh, women sat um, here doing some science and um, here the most important piece of science um, if you've ever lived in the world of stock photography you will know um, and I say this as someone who's married to a scientist with, with, with full sarcasm mode enabled the most valuable science that is done is holding up a, a, a um, oh, my wife told me the name of it I can't remember anyway a particular like like um, beaker um, full of a clear liquid which you then shake and look at so to go yes yes the science is strong here we can see the science thing happening um, anyway so we've got them um, also marketing you have I don't know what the term is is it person of color oh, yeah this is such a minefield anyway so we have more people here and people sat at desks at marketing um, I think this is kind of amusing um, because People read so much into this kind of stuff. I understand, like, you know, I'm a white guy and all that, uh, so I don't have a um, who wants perspective on it. But an argument could be made, if you look here, an argument could be made that it's the women who are doing all the work. <laughs> um, sat at desk. Whereas the, the, the elderly white dude just strokes his beard now and then. Um, having said that, all of the women in marketing seem to do is bounce yo-yos. Um, but that's just my own personal uh, fetish about yo-yos and marketing. Ignore me. Anyway, look, forget all of that. Forget all of that. The po <coughs> <coughs> oh, dear. Um, the point is that we have like, like more, more characters in the game, more people in the game. More graphics in the game. Um, lovely graphics, don't we? Just love them. Um, oh, something else. We, we, we fix this so that, you know, these things, they're blue. If they're on blue, uh, we don't have them for red for technical reasons. Um, uh, green, uh, they're green. The outlines of these are they're, they're proper, like, um, 
art done by, like, you know, an artist who knows what he's doing and not me. Um, so that's, that's what's happened in the last two weeks, which probably sounds a bit rubbish. Um, well, it probably sounds like six months work for a lot of studios, frankly, but, um, but by my standards, that, that's not all that. Um, so let's, what's my to-do list? The Easter eggs should be it, really. Um, yeah, so I, I'm going to try and allow, like, repositioning of blueprints. So, um, so you'd be able to go, no, not there, there. Uh, I'm not quite sure how, because at the moment, um, right-clicking it gets rid of it. I also want a one-click buy thing for that as well, um, which I don't have in there yet. Um, and um, I, I'm going to fix a bug to do with deleting a load of stuff. Uh, which someone sent me a video of. Also, also I'm going to save and load blueprints that are placed down. That's all quite easy. Um, hopefully, if I'm feeling better, that should be done this week. Um, what I'm then going to do, I, I'm going to, I'm going to put the price up. Okay. Um, wow. Should we experiment with this thing? I will look my customers in the eye. Whoa! I'm going to put the price up. Just, I am. Um, to nineteen dollars ninety-five, I think. Um, probably at, um, at the end of next week or the week after something like that if you know you, you're gonna buy the game uh, you know buy it now it's, uh, it's all I'm gonna say cuz uh, yeah we will be putting the price up um, after that I, I really am gonna do this variable stockpile size stuff um, and then it's on to defects and quality I know that in, in the like survey of, of what people are interested in people want a lot more uh, vehicle body types and I would like to find a way to make that happen as well. Um, it's mostly just art, but partly I don't want to make this any bigger. This is a big grid. So I want to find a way to have physical variants of the sedan. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, for example, just for your like kind of amusement and stuff. Um, something else I'm going to do is adjust the rent. Rent is not a big enough component in... Um, the balance of the game. If I, if I look here, expenses, rent, uh, what is that? Is it rent's purple? Who cares? Who cares? Wages are pretty low as well, actually. Wages should definitely be higher. Um, I'm always reevaluating this stuff, I'm trying to get it right. I've just realised I'm not in the. T See, this is. Look, I'm, look, I'm talking about this, and I'm in the wrong scene. Some people do this, they swap between them, between their kind of like. I'm earnestly talking to the camera thing and this and I'm not used to it like some sort of idiot I've also ordered one of these green screen things so that like um, it's not all this waste of space when I do these videos I'm kind of taking it seriously but I'm not any good at it so um, give me marks for trying anyway I'm sh this shambles is a video about production line by Positech Games the amazing game where you build a car factory Thank you for everyone who is buying it, even though I'm, I'm like slumped ill in the corner um, for the last two weeks. Um, we're still very much working on it, still in early access. Um, hopefully I'll have more stuff and more slickly presented, <laughs> could be less slickly presented, could it? Um, to show you uh, next week. So uh, please subscribe to these videos. Also please follow me on Twitter. Also please buy all my games and just send me loads of money. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you next week.